Hey guys, Cade here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to service a Suntour XCT uh, fork. Now this is the newer style of fork. It's the one with the one that the lockout side on it. It's the little blue side and then the other compression side. So let's get straight into it. Step one, you're going to be taking off your wheel. Now, you should probably know how to use a quick release lever by now. I mean, you just unscrew it till it pops out. Then when it pops out, you gotta loosen it a little bit more, and then boom, wheel comes out. These are hydraulic disc brakes. They just slide out. But if you've got rim brakes, then you're gonna have to probably figure out how they detach. I don't know. Go watch Park Tool Channel if you want to learn that crap. Uh, the step two is we're going to want to take go grab an Allen key. Got some over here, and figure out which one fits in calipers. This one doesn't, which means this one will. So we're just going to grab a socket set, grab a little socket, put that on there, or you can just use a regular Allen key. I like to use sockets though. We're just going to Loosen that. Oh, that's tightened. There we go. Just loosen it off like this. I mean, this can be annoying, but if you have rim brakes, all you need to do is probably detach it. But, I don't like disc brakes. If your cable isn't long enough, you do need to take them off, which can get annoying. So we're going to take one bolt, put this in a safe spot. If you lose this, well, you're kind of screwed because you're not going to have any bolts to put your brakes back on with. And then just take the other one off. This does take a while. They are in there pretty good, but yeah. And then after we do finish this off, we are going to have to take the cable stop off, or not the cable stop, the, oh, I forgot what it's called, it holds this cal cable or the hose to it. So once again, we're going to take another Allen key to do that. I believe this one should fit. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take it. I'm just going to loosen this off. Oh great, that doesn't fit. Um, well, if you don't have an Allen key for that, then what you can just do is just slide the hose all the way down. There's the calipers rest in there. If you don't have the right part to me. Otherwise, now we're going to grab our 10 mil Allen key, the remain uh, 10 mil socket. And you're just going to loosen both of these nuts off. I'm going to do it to the other one. Sometimes these can, these can be on here really tight, but just get them off. You're going to need them. And boom. Set these over here, see, stop. Now, Unless mine are already. Nope, they're not. Okay. Usually the silver one will come out, but over here we've got a black little pin coming up. Usually the black one's on the side that adjusts the compression stuff. It's the one without the spring. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a little rubber mallet like this. And you just want to hit it. As you're doing that, you're going to try to pull up on it until it hits its limit. And just... nope. Make sure you're using a rubber mallet, otherwise you might damage part of your fork. There we go. It should just loosen up like that. Now it'll come out, and then you can slide the legs of your forks out. Now I just recently cleaned this. So I don't really need to service anything on it, but that is how you take it off. And if you are going to reservice it, 
what you'd want to do is uh, probably regrease it like I did. Uh, and a tip for cleaning inside of here, which really makes a difference, you can just use a little Q-tip to clean it and then put some more grease back in there. Um, just use shop towel to clean off the stanchions. And to clean the bushings down in there, what I did was I just took a little wadded up piece of shop towel, took an Allen key, just shoved it down in there and pulled it back up. Same with the other one to clean the bushings out. And uh, then I just did the same. And I just stuck my finger in there to re-grease them. But, yeah, so now uh, we have to put the, back, the um, fork back on. This was just a lower leg service, if you haven't noticed. This is what I usually do, but if you need, like, to service a spring, you're going to need a specialty tool to remove the caps down here. And then, I'm just going to slide the lower legs back on. Make sure that the seals do not get caught on anything. And just push them down until this black um, pin comes back up again because you want it's going to be pretty hard to get it back on what I do I just take the nut throw it back in here and I push the brace down and you really oh great that's amazing and I just put it right there and then when it comes right back up I just try to get it started in there oh great and it's not working either yeah, sometimes this can be tricky. Oh my god. It's going to take a while. There we go. We got it started. So now the black pin will stay up. Get my tire turned up. Okay, and we come back over, and we're just going to tighten these down. I mean, if you have a torque wrench, there's probably something you should do by tightening this or torque. I just do it pretty tight until there's at least just a little bit of the bolt, or, the, yeah, the bolt hanging over the nut. And then the other one doesn't need to be done first. You need to make sure you get the this one done first for this one because this one will always stick up this one likes to sink down in there so yeah and then you're just going to tighten this up until you get it fairly tight bad about it's hanging over a little bit and then make sure your fork you can press on the brace make sure it's running smooth otherwise you might have to redo all the steps then for your calipers I have to swing them around like this so that the cable doesn't get in the way of everything. And then we're going to place it back on here. Grab your mounting nuts. Uh, it's good to dip these in grease or just put some Loctite blue on them, but um, I don't really have any of that. And plus, I already put a little bit of grease on this last night. So, we're just going to. Get them hand tight in just to make sure they're in because this caliper will like to swing around and fall down and stuff. Just getting them in a little bit, get them started is good. And then we will take our Allen, okay? Allen key, put it on the socket, and then just start tightening this up. You probably should start uh, when you're about when you're doing this. Just leave it just a little bit loose. That's too tight. Just leave it a little loose, just so that the caliper can wiggle a little bit. That will help you put putting your back wheel or your front wheel back on. It will make sure that that the caliper can get aligned better. So leave a little bit of wiggle in there then put your wheel back in make sure your disc goes into the brakes pads in between them and sometimes this can be tricky and then you can hear there's probably like a water rub in there so how do you get them straight this is how you get them straight 
you're just going to stop it, press your brakes, and then pull back. Pull back on the wheel or front. Usually front works best, so that's what I'm going to do. It can be hard to see. And then, then we're just going to tighten them up. There's probably an exact torque you could get these to, but I do not have a torque wrench, like I've already mentioned for this. straight now we're just going to tighten the push release lever back on remember you want to use a lever action on it make sure it tightens on properly I have another video on how to that's fairly straight now you can spend hours getting this totally straight but uh, I don't have that kind of time and I don't care so that's how you get it done how to service your shocks or your front fork uh, Suntor, SR Suntour XCT, the new version.